the first meeting was pretty interesting because we were all going into this not really knowing exactly what was going to happen. Who decides? Who decides that, you know, this work is better than that work? And, and why is this next to that? And so for me, this was really an exciting um, invitation by the museum to uh, take a look at, you know, given the chance, how do I decide? I enjoyed being involved in curating a show as a community member, but also as part of a curation group, and, um, or a curating group, and um, I really liked the involvement of everyone at first where we were all throwing out different ideas of the possibilities. There was a, a set of filters that were established, people evaluated and voted on what they wanted to see um, based on that Mr. Mark Ryan extraordinary <laughs> came up with a smaller set you know and in come the you know community curators to further evaluate based on their own uh, backgrounds and interests and also based on the criteria that the public laid out. The city is intrigued by the process of um, not knowing what was going to happen entirely, of letting go of those choices. It seems uh, contradictory to what a curator would usually do is take as much control as they could. Um, I, I just think it was a very fun idea, and the results I think are going to be quite, quite interesting as well. Sure. Something like this involves the entire community with a hub for art. And if we make the entire community a hub for art instead of just a building or a small group of people, then I just see it as something that could really make Fargo blossom, not only in Fargo, amongst like the ability for people to feel welcomed into the artist community and the art community, but also as like a national sense of Fargo's where it's at or has something new that they're doing. You know? Culturally, in America, to me it seems we're moving toward a place where everyone expects to have a say, to be able to give something a plus one if you're on Google Plus, or you know, you like this if you're on Facebook, or you know, people are calling for a dislike button on Facebook. People are expecting to be able to have a say in their world. It was a good reflection of the um, Plains Art community's audience, and it's their show. So it's it's like it's not my show. It's it's everybody's show. <laughs> it's the audience's show.